At the beginning of the year, I made a resolution and my goal was to find a skincare routine that I can do every day and no matter where I am. Doesn't matter if I'm at home or if I'm traveling long term with a carry-on only, if it's winter or if it's summer. I just wanted to have one thing that I can repeat over and over again. I turned 40 a few weeks ago, so if there is anything I can do to make my skin look better for longer, I'm all in. But honestly, I'm not someone who's going to stick to like a 12 step skincare routine every day. That's just not me. And I'm totally overwhelmed with the amount of marketing happening around skincare and all hyped products. And I always had kind of this fear of missing out, which led to a lot of impulse buys for me. So I really wanted to find something to make my life easier in that regard. And I'm happy to say that to my own surprise, this is actually one of the few New Year's resolutions that I actually managed to accomplish. And I have been religiously following my simplified routine now for a few months. And I like to think that my skin looks better than ever. I mean, it's not perfect, but I don't think it has to be. I still get like redness on my cheeks and the same pimples popping up at the same times of the months, but I guess no one will look at my skin as close as I do in the mirror anyways. And to my delight, sometimes people still believe me when I say that I'm 22, even though I have to admit that I get the yeah right look more often now. So the routine that I figured out for me is very simple. At night, I just wash my face with a cleanser. I then use one wildcard product that I will talk about in a moment. And then I just follow up with some moisturizer. And then in the morning, I just wash my face with some water and apply some sunscreen. And since I have very sensitive skin to the sun, it's usually with SPF 50. And that's it. That's my whole routine and I get to repeat it day after day. So let's talk about how I made my routine a little bit more travel friendly and I'm also going to share a few of the products that I found work for me. And as some of you may know, I am permanently living out of my carry-on sized backpack and I sometimes travel for a few months at a time. So all my fluids need to fit into a clear bag and I also wanted to be able to kind of replace items as I go on my trips so I don't have to buy too much or bring too much with me. And the way I accomplished that is that I basically separated my routine into products that I need a lot, but I can easily replace versus a few things where I just need a few drops, but they are much harder to find. A few of the products, namely the cleanser and the moisturizer and the sunscreen are very easy to buy anywhere. And that helps me to stay very flexible. My husband and I both use those same products which means that we use a lot, but at the same time, it means that we have to carry less with us because not everybody needs to bring a bulky container with their own products. And just to give you a few ideas, I wanted to share a few products that work very well for me at the moment. And just as a reference, my skin is rather uncomplicated. It's maybe a little bit on the sensitive side. I'm 40 now. Um, I sometimes have hormonal acne. I think I have mixed skin, so I'm getting a little bit more dry here and oily in like the T-zone, I think it's called. And obviously I'm rather pale, so I burn easily. So the first part of my routine at night is the cleanser. And I think it was about half a year ago, I listened to a podcast and I basically listened to an interview with a dermatologist that recommended the Dove Beauty Cream Bar. So I'm super happy that I found this option because apart from being a solid, so it does not count towards my liquids, it's very easy to find and it's extremely cheap. Just last week I needed to restock and they had actually a package of four at Mercadona here in Spain and it cost only three euros, which is less than a euro per soap. I think skincare is expensive anyway, so if I can sneak in some cheap options, I'm not going to complain. But I would be very curious if this is available in your country, just as a reference for future travels. So let me know if you have the Dove Beauty Cream Bar in your country in the comments below. So I wash my face with this every night and for me it's definitely cleansing enough. Another benefit for me is that it also replaces another product for me. I also use it to wash my body. So as far as my research went, this is not really a traditional soap. It has a more neutral pH value and it also has a body lotion included, which is very noticeable for me because after I wash my face or my body, I don't get this tight, dry feeling on my skin. And now in the summer, I never actually had to use a moisturizer on the body, which is actually a new thing for me. When you just rub it directly on your skin or between your hands, it does not really create a lot of foam. But I personally always combine it with my soap saver pouch that I also use to just 
hang it in the shower to dry with those little suction cups with the hooks. And when I use it in this thing, it really creates a very nice foam. And when it's time to travel, I always transport it in my trusty Matato soap pouch. So another part of my routine is the sunscreen. And there I just try to keep it as simple as possible. Whenever one is about to run out, then I just go and buy a new bottle. And the one that I currently picked up is this one. And the reason why I bought it is because it says Se puede aplicar en el barbado y alrededor de los ojos. And with my very uh, basic Spanish understanding, I think it says that it can go around the eye and on the eyelid. And I always have the problem that all the sunscreens crawl into my eye. It doesn't matter how for sensitive eyes or whatever they claim they are. I always have to spare out an area around my eye. And I think it's not ideal because I think probably this area is the most sensitive to the sun and I'm not putting sunscreen on it. So when I came home from the store, I was very excited and just smeared this whole thing all over my eye and I had zero problems. So I'm very, very happy with this as well. Another basic part of my skincare routine is the moisturizer. And basically we do the same thing as with the sunscreen. Whenever we run out, we just go to the next supermarket or gas station or duty-free shop or drugstore, whatever we find, and we just buy something. Most of them come in those huge glass containers. So to give us a little bit more uh, options to choose from, we usually refill it in something more travel friendly. At the moment we're using this airless dispenser and just refill it with any cream we get. So this really gives us a lot of flexibility to adapt our routine to the different seasons. For example, when it's summer, we buy something more light and in the winter months, we go for something more nourishing. And we are not too picky about ingredients here. So a basic moisturizer is all we're looking for because there is another part of the routine that we did not talk about yet. And that is the wild card, which is basically the active ingredient. So as an active ingredient, I usually use a serum or a more concentrated product to complement my skincare routine. And this is also the part where my husband and I can adapt the skincare routine to our needs. And the plus for me is that those products usually come in smaller containers. And since I only need a tiny amount of them, they usually last me for weeks or months at a time. And yes, I have to admit, if you go to a typical store, there are thousands of those serum products. So there are still lots of options to try. But I feel like it simplifies my choices because I concentrate on one specific category. And since the other parts of my skincare are very basic products, I feel like I get triggered less. So I don't feel like I need to buy this toner with this wonder ingredient or the night cream with the snail slime or whatever. And uh, that's actually a really a thing. I had no idea, but seems like cream with snail slime is a thing. But for me, since I limit it to one product category only, I find it easier to pick products that target my skin needs at the time. Just to give you an idea, what I use at the moment after some research and some experimenting are two products. I'm using a retinol, which I use now two nights in a row. And on the third night, I use a chemical peeling. And then I just repeat. The retinol that I'm using is from Geek and Gorgeous. It's the A-Game 5. It has 0.05 retinol, which is not retinol, it's retinol with an A, which from my understanding is easier for the skin to absorb. In the past, I also used the Neutrogena retinol serum that I can buy almost everywhere I go. And it also worked, even though there is no information on how strong it is. I had a talk with my dermatologist about that product and he basically said that I should not worry too much about the specific strengths and whatever. He said if something was really that strong that it would actually like change your skin, it would not be available without doctor's prescription or without being applied by doctors. And he said with all those things, it's more or less the consistency that makes the difference versus the actual strength. And the second thing that I use every third night is a chemical peeling. I'm currently using this one from L'Oreal, Bright Reveal, um, and it makes my face very soft and nice. It would probably be easier and also be one step less, just find a face cream that has those ingredients that I want integrated. But I feel like a cream with special ingredients while traveling is harder to find. And I really don't want to spend my time abroad running around or driving around to find a place to buy a more high quality cream. 
And I can really go for months with a little bottle of that. This one we have now since one month and I think we're about here. Both Everson and me are using this every third day. And this one I already bought when I was back home in Austria. So it's already going since about two and a half months. And I guess I have another three or four weeks worth in here. So this combination of combining something more concentrated with just basic products that we can grab anywhere really makes our routine much more travel friendly. But one word of warning, if you want to integrate any products or any active ingredients into your skincare routine, then make sure that you go according to the manual. <laughs> For example, retinol, you need to slowly ease your skin into it. In the beginning, I only used it once a week and then slowly used it more and more. And for example, this face peeling, it goes on the skin for 15 minutes and then you have to wash it off. So please always make sure to educate yourself on how those things need to be used. So that was a lot of talking for something that's supposed to be simple. If you have any recommendations for me on how to enhance my skincare routine even further, please drop them in the comments. And other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.